Y'all, guess what just came out of Dunkin'? It's the pumpkin spice coffee. I think it came out yesterday, so I feel like I'm a day late to the game, but better late than never. So I got my pumpkin coffee. They were out of pumpkin donuts, quite disappointed, but there's always another day. The real thing for me is Starbucks. I'm definitely more of a Starbucks drinker. Obviously, I will drink Dunkin', especially when it comes to the pumpkin spice season, simply because Dunkin' comes out with it sooner. But next Monday, I believe, is the release date for the Starbucks pumpkin spice, and guess who will be first in line? All right. Anyway, y'all, welcome back. I am so excited to have you here. How are you? I hope your day is going great. I am Erica. For those of you who are new, I make videos all about handbags, lifestyle, beauty, and decor. If you've not yet, please go ahead and subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of this community, and I'd love for you to come visit with me twice a week. But all that being said, let's get into today's video, which is one of my all-time favorites, a what's in my bag. What's the bag, might you ask? Well, let me show you. Today, guys, we are going to do a what's in my bag of, you guessed it, my WP Standard Midland backpack. If you did not see my unboxing of this bag, I will leave it in the description box down below so you can go check that out. I am over the moon about this bag. I have been carrying it for a week straight ever since I got it. and. Y'all, I'm loving it. I really am. I really think it's the perfect size. The color is just so perfect. I just love it for fall. It's this beautiful tan. I was very hesitant with this buckle closure. I think I mentioned that in the unboxing. That was something I was very... I don't know. I was just a little... I was hesitant with it. I just don't always love a buckle closure. I think it's a pro and a con. I know they're super secure, but I also feel like getting in and out is not as quick as other kind of entries. However, I am saying I... Right now, I really like it. Well, that's a stretch. I'm getting used to it. I feel like ultimately the jury's still out, so we're waiting, but... Right now, I feel like it hasn't been super difficult to get used to. I'll leave you with that. And the other thing I forgot to mention in last week's video is that this also is a full grain leather bag because I had that question. I definitely thought I would add that here. So I am going to show you today what all I keep in this bag right now. I like to do these videos for a multitude of reasons. The first and foremost is simply for the fact that I'm nosy. I love to know what people carry in their bags. And yeah, I like to also just share with you what I carry in mine. Second, I oftentimes learn about things that I didn't know I needed, if that makes sense. So I will find different like goodies for a bag and I'm like, ooh, must have that. So I hope there's something that inspires you in my bag. If there's anything that you would like for me to leave a link to, definitely go ahead and comment and I will definitely try and give you a link to whatever it is that you're questioning. The last reason I love these videos is that I'd love to see what a bag holds, especially one that I am looking to purchase. I find that these videos are oftentimes quite helpful to show you what the bag can carry. And that being said, I would like to caveat that with the fact that I will be doing a review on this bag in the next few weeks. This bag really has no videos on it on YouTube, but there is no what's in my bags on it. I think you can find some videos where it has a very small glimpse of it. I don't even think that. So I really want to make as many videos as I can on this bag to help future buyers because I wish something like this had existed. So for those of you looking for the Midland backpack and looking into it, I definitely hope this is a starter in terms of helping you figure out if this is the right bag for you simply by determining what it all carries. That all being said, let's get into the bag, shall we? So outside has no pockets. So we'll just get right into this big compartment. I do want to show you my Briley Collections keychain. I have shown this multiple times before, but I just love it so much. And if you're interested, I will leave her store in the description box down below. She is super, super sweet and she makes these custom Louis Vuitton keychains. And she just, she just kills it. She just does such a phenomenal job. They have the uh, backing like so. So she just has a lot of details in these keychains and I just think it zhuzhes up any bag. That is the outside of my little keychain. Let's get into the inside of the bag. Really quick, I do want to mention it has one slip pocket at the very top. So I guess we'll just start with the slip pocket, shall we? First thing I see 
is I got flowers from DJ last week and he named it uh, Erica soon to be Weltmeyer, which I thought was so sweet. They were flowers for no other reason than just because the inside literally says, thanks for letting me have a sip of your water while watching Sharp Objects last night. I absolutely love the heck out of you. Erica loved DJ16 because that's his race car number. I like to keep little notes like that. I just think they're sweet and I like to kind of look back on them and puts a smile on my face. The next is another thing from Briley Collections. This is my work badge in this Louis Vuitton little key holder. I love this thing. I've put the lanyard on it and I wear it every day. So I feel like it just kind of zhuzhes up the work bag. I'm into zhuzhing things. Can you tell? Next thing is my vaccine card. I have a little Advil like thing. I didn't have, I had ran out of it and I bought this at the gas station. Then I refilled it, but I never took that out. The next thing I have is my Ikea change pouch. I think this thing is so cute. I have my Lamy fountain pen that I was gifted on my 30th birthday from one of my bosses. And I have a little lens cleaning wipe for my glasses. Oh, I have more stuff in there, okay. We have some bobby pins. So I have a multitude of bobby pins. I recently just did my wedding trial hair. I didn't show you guys because I didn't, I didn't like it. So my fault, not hers. It, and at first I thought I did and then I didn't. So it's a work in progress. But I didn't want to show you because it just wasn't, it wasn't magical. Let's put it that way. And then lastly, I carry a bit of cork in here. I, I have read somewhere once why you should carry cork in your bag. I think it has to do with like good luck and things like that. I'm kind of a superstitious kind of person. So I just keep it in there. I just like it. So that's why cork's in there. Anyway, that ends that slip pocket. So we are going into the larger compartment. Also, by the way, this is a drawstring closure as well along with the buckle. So I'll kind of open that drawstring. First thing is my planner. I brought this up in my July favorites video. I'll link that down below too. I have actually committed to this planner. Are you ready guys? Two months, I'm committed to a planner. I'm so excited. I had actually one of you tell me that I should get multiple planners for different facets of my life. I really liked the suggestion for sure. So that is definitely something I might incorporate later on for like maybe YouTube, work, and then personal. Sell so three planners, which means I just get kind of like the run of the lot because I love buying planners. I'm a stationary gal. But anyway, so this is the one I have committed though to for two months since like early July. And it's just, it's transforming my life. I will say that. So really like that. The next thing, I feel like I've shown you this, but I haven't really talked about it. So I'm going to show you this and talk about it. This is my Nina and Co little clutch that I use as a beauty pouch. It has these little pom poms. I love the colors. Some of y'all told me not to go down the Nina and Co rabbit hole. I didn't listen and I wish I would have because Nina and Co is so beautiful. Their stuff is just phenomenal. I love the colors. I started with a small piece first because I wasn't sure how I would like this kind of fabric, but y'all, I really beat around with this clutch. I kind of just use and abuse it and I'm really surprised with how well it withstands things. So this is full grain leather, the trimmings, and then this is hand embroidered and I'm just really liking it. So I think I definitely will add like a big piece one day to my collection, but for now, I love this little clutch. I've been using it again as my beauty pouch for a while now. So we'll just get really quickly into it. I feel like I've seen or I've shown most of this before. I have Bath Body Works hand lotion. I have a Lifter Gloss by Maybelline. But I have a new color, y'all. This is in the color Stone. Hannah, if you're watching, I did get the Stone color and I really love it. If I'm not in red, I'm in this color. It's very light and I just think it kind of adds something just a little bit extra, especially in those days where you don't want a ton of makeup. And it just gives you just the lightest bit of color and it doesn't have shimmer, which I like. So that has been something I love. I love the Lifter gloss, gloss to begin with, but the stone has been great. The next thing, I have Aquaphor Healing Ointment. I have the e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer. Then I have some Cordobalm Chapstick. My OG Chapstick, I will never not have it. I love it. I have my Lancome Idol Perfume. I'm almost out, but I have another one in my cabinet, rest assured. Then I have my Little Mermaid Compact Mirror. If you know me know, I don't think I'll ever replace the mirror. If I do, it's gotta be something super special. So I've carried that in my bag for 
quite literally years. This is my pill pouch. It has uh, my ibuprofen, the one I refilled. So it kind of just opens like that and you're able just to kind of slip it in your bag. This fits in all my small bags too. I really like this little carrier. Next thing is a feminine product. Then I have this uh, mango with coconut oil bot or body. It's from Bath and Body Works. It's for your lips. I really like this stuff and unfortunately they've discontinued it. Then I have tweezers. Never without tweezers. We love a set of tweezers. I have the lipstick I'm wearing now which is by MAC in the color Dubonnet. It's 108. Then I have my different spot gel. I really have liked that for some of the pimples that have come up on my face. I feel like it works quite well another bobby pin because we can't be without those either and then lastly we have this little good luck vial of like stones and herbs that i picked up at a crystal shop and i just again i'm superstitious and i like that too so on the inside you have this stamped with nina and co it's got that really light liner which i really like because i think it helps me find things and that is what i carry in my beauty pouch okay so the next thing i see are my keys newest addition to the keys is my little hand sanitizer yes it is pumpkin spice within the hand sanitizer is a pumpkin apple smell because i am that fall girl i am not afraid to admit it i wear it proudly and then for those of you who have not seen a what's in my bag with me before this is my key card or this is my key holder i got this off of amazon it is a louis vuitton key clay dupe and this one is eleven dollars so we like the price we like the price a lot next we have some kula sunscreen i really like to carry sunscreen i'm at the racetrack quite a bit and yeah i'm kind of weird about my skin i as i've gotten older i take sunscreen extraordinarily seriously so i definitely carry that with me and i apply face sunscreen every day before i leave and if i'm no, I'll be out for a longer time. I put that face sunscreen in my purse. So that's how that works. The next thing I have is a Bath and Body Works strawberry pound cake fragrance. Y'all, oh, it smells exactly like strawberry pound cake. I'm generally not like a dessert smell kind of person. I don't really like it, but for whatever reason, this smells amazing. It smells just like strawberry pound cake. Also, I feel like I had been using the Lancome as more of like a body spray versus a perfume. I know that sounds kind of bad. It just smells so good. But I wanted to kind of switch it up because the Lancome is expensive. So I had a free coupon for $16.50, like up to. I got this bad boy. So I really loved that. Then we have some Altoids, keeping the breath fresh. We have a Flint Roll. I think this is dirty, so my apologies. Yes, it is. This is my Flint Roller. I really like this thing. It's one of these products that I just... It's a staple in my bag. It is actually a retractable lint roller. I am a dog mom. I have a Husky and I have a German Shepherd mix and they are hairy. So black is one of those colors that attracts all kinds of dog hair. And it happens to be one of my all time favorite colors to wear. Therefore, we must keep a retractable roller in our bag. And that is great for pet parents, I assure you. The next thing I carry is insect repellent. Again, I'm at the track a lot, and this is something that definitely comes in handy for sure. So I've recently added that to my bag. I should have had this on all summer, but better late than ever. This is my budgeting book. I've added this back to my bag now that I'm in larger bags again. I just kind of keep a running total of bills and things and stuff that needs to get paid so I don't forget anything. I use it for, again, budgeting, so I keep that with me. The next thing I have is my iPhone charger. I got this little keychain at Target about a year ago, and I just really like it because it's super convenient. And sometimes I carry it in my work bag. Today I've put it in my purse. I actually put it in my purse a couple days ago. So there's that. I have my phone. And I've recently added this to the back of my phone. It is a Betsy Johnson keyring, and it's a little piece of rainbow cake. I thought that was so cute. The real reason I added this is the fact that I do sometimes film with my phone, like my vlogs, and I wanted a ring to kind of just keep the phone in place. So thus the reason I purchased this. I found it at Nordstrom Rack for like four or five bucks. So I thought that was pretty inexpensive, and I just thought it looked really cute. Okay. The next thing, okay y'all, I'm really excited to show you this. I did such a brief snippet of this little bag such a long time ago that I kind of want to talk a little bit more about it. So this is my current wallet. Yes, I know, a little bit bigger than my typical. Sometimes, you know, I just want to, I want to be in a bigger bag. 
When I'm in larger bags in general, I like to do what I call bagception. So a bag within a bag, sometimes within a bag. And this is sort of the reason I'm kind of back to this. This is by the company Bed Stew. I purchased it online from a company called Cinderella Ranch. They are a small business out of Colorado. They're fantastic. And this is their tie-dye leather. And I mean, look how pretty that is. I'm a huge person for tie-dye, rainbow colors in general. I love colorful stuff and I just really loved this, especially the handle. I feel like the colors are just so cool. There's a separate wristlet too, like so, which I love. Now this is why I love this so much. It's, it's flat, it's got a lot of zipper compartments. So on the outside, I have one thing, which is my chapstick. If I'm only carrying this in, it has my phone, it'll hold my phone too. So you open it up, there's like a double button. This is where I put my ID, but we'll go into this zipper pocket first. There is just change in here. I have some Aldi quarters and things like that. Probably could go in my Ikea bag, but it's whatever. We could have change all over the place. The other spot also has some, oh, it's a little photo of my pups. And then I have a punch card for my salon, a little note from DJ that I like to carry, and then a local business card. So I have that in there. And then something I really love about this wristlet is it has this like card slot here that I'm able to put my cards. And then you can just kind of see that it is stamped bed stew here. And I just really like this wallet a lot. And it is genuine leather. It's very soft and it's hand done. So you're never going to get the same one. So if you were to order the tie dye, it might look quite different than this. So that's what I really loved about it. Again, it's the colors. The colors got me and it is just so soft and I like the fact that it's convertible and again when I'm carrying a bigger bag and sometimes I just don't want to bring those things with me these serve me very very well so I'm happy I got to show you this I've had it for quite some time and I'm just happy to have it back in my rotation all right guys we're almost there another pouch back in my rotation another Another pouch back in the rotation is my little coach pouch that I got from Goodwill. This kind of holds some random stuff. I have a little stones. Wow, we'll do a double. I have a mask, little stones for good luck that I got at that crystal shop that I got my little good luck vial. My little photo fob, it's like a clicker thing that's Bluetooth so I can take photos. My Sarah's Day smoochie balm that I like a lot. I have my AirPods. And then I have some Werther's caramels. So that is all I keep in that pouch. Y'all, we are almost done. Next, I have my little diamond ring pen. I like this one. And then I have some Bath & Body Works Vanilla Supreme like menthol lip gloss, which I actually like. I'm not normally one for menthol, but this one's actually pretty nice. And then last but not least, we have a misplaced feminine product. So that is all I carry in this bag. So as you can see, it holds quite a bit of stuff. I keep a lot. I'm back in my big bags now, guys. It is a thing. So I really loved them. And I just, I really like this bag. I think it's such a good size and I cannot wait to do a further review for you. That all being said, definitely, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button so you can see when I come out with the review on this bag. I have some exciting things coming up, guys. I'm definitely gonna show you my purse collection, and then we're gonna do a purse sale. A lot of you expressed interest on my Instagram, and I'm very happy to oblige. I think it is time to make some space and just give away some bags that while loved are just not getting used. So that is definitely to come very soon. Anyway, I hope you have a phenomenal weekend and I cannot wait to catch you in next week's video. I'll talk to you next time. Bye guys.